Well, these dogs are the first uh, dogs trained in this country, or trained in the world, in fact, to detect cancer by smell. And what they were looking for there were two urine samples, one from somebody who's got cancer and one from a patient who hasn't, who's got other symptoms. And what the dogs are doing, they're using their sense of smell to pick up the volatiles that come off the cancer cells. So it's very, very minute uh, amounts of scent, but they're able to do it. And I'm working on a project that's actually training a whole group of dogs to detect these types of cancer from, um, by urine. So including, this is bladder cancer, but we're also going to work on prostate cancer as well. These dogs have been in training for some time. Tangle actually is quite an expert. He's been in training for a couple of years. Daisy's just been in training for six months. And she's just learning now. She's, she's in the advanced stages. And I got lots of distractions today, but she did well. Um, but it is quite a difficult thing for them to do, because if you can imagine, the cells, the cancer cells, are themselves giving off these uh, compounds, which the dogs are identifying. So it's really quite a difficult thing to do. In this new charity, which called Cancer and Biodetection Dogs, we're actually also training dogs to detect hyperglycemic attacks and diabetics. So that's when the blood sugar starts to drop, and if people don't realise this, they go into coma. Again, it's a smell, it's a change in the body that causes a change in our, in our scent. So the dogs are actually perhaps sniffing the hand and then warning their owners of, this, of these episodes. So um, I mean, and there'll be many more things, I'm sure. Once we've, once we've uh, taught the dogs to do this, I'm sure there'll be other things in the future that we'll find that dogs can detect. For the type of work that I'm doing with the cancer work, you do need working breeds, breeds that are able to concentrate and focus for fairly long periods of time and also you know, enjoy using their noses, these, obviously these two do. Um, for the um, hyperglycemic dogs, um, it doesn't have to be uh, just the gun dog breeds, there'll be a whole range of other breeds that may be able to do it. Um, so it's early days yet, so uh, perhaps we'll know a bit more next year.